Hi friends, thanks so much for the positive feedback from the video with Gunrit Adale. It's been amazing being there in Nova Mesto and in Alpstadt also. Uh, I got so much taste for the racing, more about that pretty soon. Today we talk, I'm gonna show you feature the, the bike which we can actually call like in the old days a mountain bike. One bike made for all, not only Merida has it, but let's just see what they've launched. And at the end Jose Hermida will talk about this bike, will we'll tell you what he thinks about the bike. And please let me know what brands, what models, what types of bikes would you like to have featured on the channel because now we are preparing this project for the 2018 late uh, this year and also 19 uh, some, some projects with the testing bikes. Uh, and so let me know the ones you will ask the most for, you will definitely get on the channel. Make sure to join our Facebook group, my um, community uh, on the Patreon and let's see now the new bike. This is the best place to test new trail bikes. Hello, Danny here. Wonderful weather today. It is uh, Thursday now, 19th of uh, July. I'm here in Ruhpolding, Germany, testing new Merida 120 bike. As you know, I've been riding lots of Merida bikes and we do cooperate quite a lot. So I'm kind of a riding for Merida, but not only as a vlogger, maybe in the future as a pro rider, we'll see about that. But don't worry, I'm going to give you the, the proper and, and very sincere opinion about new 120. This bike uh, has gone in the direction most of the trail bikes uh, are going right now, which means being more capable. Uh, more capable in the in the technical terrain and more durable. That's what Merida uh, really did on this bike. Um, as many manufacturers, they have now the 100 millimeter travel on the XC full suspension. They call it 96. I'm riding that bike because I'm a cross country rider. Uh, then we have 120, which is 29er. Uh, so 29 inch wheels, uh, 120 millimeters uh, in the rear, 130 in the front of the travel. Then 140, uh, which is 27.5 uh, uh, wheels and 140 millimeters of the travel in the rear. And then 160, which is the enduro bike. So I'm going to get all these bikes, not from Merida, but different brands and give you like a huge all in one guide. What is the real difference and what should you choose? But what about, what about uh, the 120? So 120 is a trail bike and 140 is a trail bike, but 120 is closer to uh, 96, to the cross country bike. And so you can uh, ride it on the rough trails, but also you can do like all day marathon style riding. And that's what I really felt up there. This bike uh, is giving you more uh, support, like mid-stroke uh, support. Um, I was testing this bike on just about 20-29% of the sack, both uh, front and rear, which is little. Uh, with my 72, ki 70, 72 kilograms uh, of the weight, I could really feel that the bike is supporting me. And then I thought, hmm, uh, I think my sack is just too, too small and I'm not gonna use the travel, but on the easy trail, Look uh, what I did. So it does make a sense. Uh, so uh, mid-stroke um, support on this new kinematics is very good. I do like it. Uh, what's also changed? Um, you can buy the full carbon bike, which is 400 grams lighter than the previous one. You can buy the carbon front triangle, which is uh, same exact triangle as on this bike. This is the full carbon version and alloy rear triangle or swing arm and then uh, you can buy full alloy bike. The alloy bike would be between 14 and 15 kilograms um, of the weight. Uh, all bikes 29er inch wheels. Uh, and here, as you can see, uh, the frame has uh, become much more rough. 
uh, all these not even tubes like the the chain stays the seat stays are now oversized pretty 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 big uh, the bearings have changed these are more durable bigger uh, bearings than on the previous version so this bike has become more more rough more durable because uh, the trail riders are becoming much more extreme it goes so much into into enduro close to downhill riding really so these bikes have to be strong and so the alloy bike will be actually a little bit heavier uh, from the previous generation because uh, of added materials uh, the, the bike is stronger and I, and I like it uh, saying only that the bike is lighter and faster is not enough we want to have durable bikes it's easy to easier to maintain the bearings you just use the torque from one side, which is good. You don't have to remove uh, the cranks in order to uh, remove uh, the bearings here uh, of the pivot. So that's nice. I do like it. Uh, the bike has been optimized for 32, 34 chain rings, one by drivetrain, but uh, the alloy version also have uh, two by. So what can you really use this bike for? Of course, some rough trails. Very this nice. bike will be awesome, both uh, alloy and, and carbon on the trail, uh, on the rough trails. This is also the all-rounder, so marathon style riding. If you want to go out for a whole day, uh, that's the bike uh, you're gonna you're gonna like. Now there is no remote uh, control for your lockout. You need to use uh, these uh, levers on both on the fork and on the uh, on a damper here in the rear. But it doesn't matter that much for trail riders. Uh, now, difference between this 29er, 120, and then 140, 27.5. Um, 27.5 will be easier in the turns, uh, but I think, I'm almost sure most of you will like 29er uh, more. I prefer 140, but most of you will like 29er more. Some also say that with the 29er and 120 millimeters of the travel in the rear, um, you need to be more technically advanced in order to use the bike fully on some rough trails. 140 will be more uh, for, for will forgive you more, uh, but uh, in my opinion, uh, I like 140 more for trail riding. 140. It can also climb 140. I can climb all the climbs I'm doing uh, in my area. There will be much more pedal bob. It won't be efficient. This one feels like giving you uh, much support. So this bike looks fine. Uh, I don't like the bottle cage mount on my 140 because I cannot fit the bottle there. They say you can fit on the medium and large size bikes on the carbon, the 750 milliliters and on the smaller frames, uh, uh, 0.5 liter bottle but I still think that the cage could be actually lower I don't know why is it that high could be lower the damper is not on the way here I know it, it moves but I don't know this is the floating design it, it's uh, the kinematics you will like it you will like it it's uh, really well made and they've been testing it for for uh, for a couple of years now this bike has also uh, gone through lots lots more testing than the previous generation two times more uh, repetitions like 300,000 of repetitions of the rear suspension with bending for or a, a fixed uh, frame and bending the whole frame and to 20 percent higher loads of that test so it should be rough it must be rough of course dropper post uh, and the standover height is improved so you have you have more more space uh, that is good when you're riding really uh, really <laughs> fast and and you're gonna feel safe you want to feel safe on the bike as you can see the chain stays seat stays really oversized this is really big we want a rough stuff uh, not just super light super fast so would i take this bike for a marathon no uh, because 96 of them is the marathoner the 100 millimeter of the travel and different kinematics will, will is giving you much more support it's much faster climber uh, but if you're not performance oriented, you can go for a marathon. No problem. It is still efficient bike uh, 140 wouldn't really feel good on the marathon. This bike all day riding is uh, Just great. I mean, you know those guys from enduro ride like 160 and they ride the bike for a whole day But if you want to feel comfy nice you want to feel that the bike can do pretty much anything 
120 is cool. Uh, I'm gonna do some uh, long distance testing uh, in the near future on my child, so you're gonna you're gonna see uh, how it performs. And pretty soon, I think I'm gonna get also some other trail bikes. So that's it. Also, we've got much more protection now. Uh, we've got one here on the on the seat stays. On other model, I saw it like through the whole length. Uh, of the seat stay much more protection here it weighs like 90 grams but it is there and really uh, tough stuff here in the front this is so steep here uh, it also makes the bike riding uh, more silent so if you're using the silent uh, rear hub from shimano xtr this is a really nice addition to that i've got the pike in the front uh, xo uh, eagle drivetrain and some nice gradient uh, wheels working well i do like it so far uh, slacker uh, head angle <laughs> once more so it, it is much much more trailish than the one before and much more rough that's what i think let me know what do you think and i'm gonna i'm gonna see you soon in the next episode bye now Marina and the engineers they are really thinking of me they are producing the best bikes in the right moment of my career <laughs> so once I retired from competition and now I, I just search for fun on the bike so now they are producing the best bike for fun but at the same time uh, they don't they don't forget the racing spirit and in the 120 that I have been testing as uh, Reynaldo says I the, the bike is a combination between uh, the 96 and the 160 obviously but especially because you get the racing philosophy in the 120 frame is a light frame, is a stiff frame, the position and the geometry is a, quite a racing bike. But the 96 bike has uh, some limitations in the new uh, in the new riding styles of mountain bikers that they search for more roots, more rocks. So probably the 96 bike with a 100 millimeter fork uh, is a limitation. So in the one, 120 you can find a uh, as Reynaldo said, a, a great combination from racing with no limitations of uh, suspension and also not uh, searching the extreme, uh, the extreme riding that uh, you can get in a, in a one, uh, 160 and uh, also different kind of styles. So from, from the last month I, I've been testing the bike and uh, really uh, the bike arrives in the right moment because now I'm searching trades, I'm searching for fun and uh, I can find it with the, with the new 120. And uh, okay, when sometimes I want to attack uh, Burrito, still the 120 has a good punch and a good uh, geometry to uh, still uh, still going for some uh, racing kilometers. Thank you, Jose. Thank you.